What's the difference between a wet raccoon and Donald J. Trump's hair? A wet raccoon doesn't have seven billion fucking dollars in the bank. Donald Trump is currently facing a daunting legal challenge with half a billion dollars in penalties looming over him, a figure that continues to grow by tens of thousands every day. This legal judgment stemming from a civil fraud trial in New York represents one of the most significant threats to his personal wealth in decades. With a deadline approaching in late March, Trump is under pressure to come up with the funds or risk the New York Attorney General seizing some of his assets. Despite negotiations with major charterers worldwide, his legal team has been unable to secure a bond to guarantee payment. Trump's net worth is estimated to be around $3 billion. While Trump faces considerable stress, it is not comparable to the challenges he faces during the early 90s recession. During that recession, Trump's financial empire suffered, leading to asset sales and bankruptcy fillings for some of his Atlantic City casinos. However, Trump adapted his strategy focusing more on leveraging his brand rather than direct ownership of properties. Today, Trump's portfolio includes resorts, condos, hotels, and stakes in significant office buildings primarily within the United States. His balance sheet currently boasts approximately $400 million in cash and has reduced debt by roughly $300 million, providing some flexibility in leveraging assets for quick cash. However, Trump's financial stability is now at risk due to mounting legal troubles. A recent court ruling ordered him to pay $355 million in penalties plus $100 million in interest which accrues at a rate of approximately $100,000 per day. This stems from allegations of fraudulent property valuation to secure favorable loans. Trump's legal team has appealed the decision but faces the challenge of securing financing for the full penalty amount. Time is running out with late March deadline looming and Trump's lawyer acknowledging the difficulty in obtaining the required financing. If Trump fails to meet the deadline, the New York Attorney General could pursue enforcement measures potentially leading to asset seizure. Trump's lawyer warned that forced asset sales could result in significant losses, urging the court to intervene or consider alternative financing options. As Trump navigates these legal and financial hurdles, uncertainties remain regarding his ability to finance the judgment without resorting to asset sales. While his legal team focuses on appeals, the mounting financial burden continues to escalate, underscoring the complexity of his current predicament. Ultimately, the outcome of Trump's legal battles will shape his financial future with potential ramifications for his business empire and personal wealth. Until then, the specter of escalating penalties and the looming possibility of asset seizure cast a shadow over Trump's financial standing and legal strategies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for latest updates.